You know, we could all use some encouragement. And I've got some good news for you. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Mark. Well, greetings, friends, and welcome back to 5 Minutes with Mark. We're picking up the story, Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, at verse 12. Now, on the first day of unleavened bread, when they killed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare that you may eat the Passover? And he sent out two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him. Wherever he goes in, say to the master of the house, the teacher says, Where is the guest room in which I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room furnished and prepared. There, make ready for us. So his disciples went out and came into the city and found it just as he had said to them, and they prepared the Passover. Cool story. So, they're looking for a place to gather to have the Seder meal. There's a specific things that are done, and, and there's a very interesting picture of Jesus, if you, if you understand what's going on, from the bitter herbs that they eat to the, the unleavened bread to the Passover lamb. All of these things are uh, there to, to be a picture to the children of Israel about the Messiah who's coming. And Jesus and his disciples are going to eat the Passover meal together, and they need a place to do that. And so his disciples says, where, where, where do you want us to go prepare? And, and he says, yeah, I got a plan. Go into the city. There's a guy carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him. When you get to the house, say to the master of the house, where's the room that's prepared for the teacher and his disciples? And he'll show you the room. And it's all ready to go. And then you go set up the meal there. And they went. And it was set up just like Jesus said it was going to be. So, <clears throat> fascinating thing. Was Jesus prescient? That is, he, he is God, right? He knows everything, sort of, even though he's just told us he doesn't know when the end is because only the Father knows that. And so in his human form, in this, this form as Jesus the man, he did not have the all-knowing, all you know, encompassing knowledge of God. He limited himself to become one of us. And yet he knew there was going to be a man with a pitcher of water walking down the street. There's going to be a room all ready for them. Did he set it up ahead of time? <laughs> Did he get with Lazarus and say, hey, man, go into town and, and get us set up so that I can, you know, have a place to go? I don't know. The story seems to be that Jesus just knew what was going to happen. He's going to do the same thing when he needs a colt to, to ride up to the mountain on. So, Jesus knows. And the disciples did what they were told, and everything worked out the way it was supposed to. I think that's really what we need to get from this little moment. Jesus is going to have this last intimate meal with his disciples. He wants to do it. He knows that things are going to begin to unravel quickly. So he needs this moment of being alone, going through this tradition with these guys one more time. And he knows there's a man with a pitcher of water who's going to be at the gate when the two disciples that he sends gets there and they can follow him and everything's going to work out. Sometimes Jesus gives us some pretty detailed direction. And he expects us to do what he tells us to do. Even if it doesn't exactly make sense. I mean, you can see, you know, Bartholomew and and James the less scratching their head going, uh, okay, well, let, I'm sure there's a hundred people carrying pitchers of water, but um, we'll figure this out. <laughs> but they get to the gates, they walk into the city, 
There's the guy with a pitcher of water. Well, that must be him. Follow him. He gets to the house. They knock on the door. He says, hey, excuse us. Uh, do you have a room ready for the teacher? And the guy in the house says, oh, yeah, it's all ready to go. And they go and say, all right, well, we need to go buy some bread, some bitter herbs, and some wine. <laughs> Let's get this thing ready. It worked out just the way Jesus intended it to. And I think if we can grab hold of that and understand if we will simply be faithful to do the small things that we are told to do, entrusted with by God, things will work out the way they're supposed to. Now, they may not work out the way we like it, but they will work out the way they're supposed to. And so, today, what small thing is the Lord calling you to do? What little task, what seemingly insignificant thing are you supposed to do today in service to the king? Do it. And know that at the end of it, everything will work out just like it needs to. Guaranteed. See you next time. Hey friends, I sure hope you're enjoying this casual stroll through the Gospel of Mark. And if you'd like to know more about me and what I'm doing, check out my website, theeclecticmonk.com. There you'll find all kind of other stuff that I've been doing. And I really hope that you'll share this Bible study with the people around you. Till next time, God bless you.